the idea of spinning in a hallway, which is a good kind of visual visualization mental model for learning how to keep your koi planks clean, for even learning how to keep other things like your arms spinning in control. Um, if you have a yoga mat or something like that at home, you can use that as a nice visual guide. You can put tape down on your floors. You can actually stand in a physical hallway, but playing with that and thinking with that will really intuitively make a lot more sense out of what you're doing with your koi. Um, so the idea is that there is a wall to the right and a wall to the left. You can look down the hallway and your arms or your boy can be on either wall. Or you can face one of the walls and lean your boy on it. You can face the other way down the hallway and your boy can be on one wall and the other. And finally you can face the wall that we didn't face already. So there's like four cardinal directions in the hallway. Uh, then we did this great exercise that gets us playing with moving our arms split time, same direction. So we're all lined up in the hallway here. And we're all going to start out by putting our right hand forward. And our left hand back. Making, making sure that we're touching the imaginary walls and not smacking the person in front or behind us. And so now we, we lift our left hand up all the way up and down, snap. <coughs> And left hand comes forward, right back, snap, right up, up, down, snap. So we're hitting these four cardinal points around the circle. Well, paying attention not to smack the person in front or behind you. And this very naturally starts training you to keep your hands and eventually your toy. Watch where you're snapping their foot. Very naturally. Gets you keep it, keeping your, your arms on clean planes in the hallway, moving your torso and body to so you don't crank your shoulders, but like start getting way back here, finding out good enough. <laughs> and uh, it's also hitting these four cardinal directions in the human body. We also play with split time arms facing one of the hallway walls, and same same four cardinal directions. Apply. We start out with our fingers pointing together at this central point, which is kind of our important focus point to come back to. Here, 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 here. And eventually getting the timing so that both hands and ultimately both koi are circling in the same direction. If my arms are wheeled, they're both rolling that way. But they're, they're doing so in a timing that's split apart. And in this case, what Coming back to the central focus point and getting used to sensing how your boy are always coming back to that central focus point, no matter what you're doing, is very useful. So we practice a few things without koi first. I like to do that because unless you're a super Jedi mind trick sort of person, your koi don't just hover there and spin themselves. It's your body motion that actually makes your koi do a thing. So you work on the body motion. By the boy, it's way easier. So then we try it with boy. We got you got to like kind of be able to spin them going the same direction, like wheels rolling the same direction on the wall. Shift the timing so that they're doing it in split time, so that one's dropping down to that middle point while the other's rising up to meet it. From there, you can play around with. Notice how they always, as long as your timing's on, they always keep coming back to that central point. And as another one you can play with, pushing one farther away and bringing one a little closer to your tummy. This allows you to bring your, your poi, your arms a little closer together, but the same thing is still happening. That one poi is falling down the middle, one is, is coming up. You can play with switching those, and that's a nice project. Progression to work with. <laughs> and of course, you want to do it the other way too. Partner boy, we got a partner boy. Um, we played with basically spinning personally, we were spinning with ourselves, same time, same direction, super simple spin. But with our partner, we were lining up our timing in that same way. So my partner timing with Tom is split time, even though with myself I'm the same time. And
And you know if you keep bonking your, your partner's point you right. right in that central focus point between the two of you, then your timing is good. You're just going to play up their spacing. So we're basically toe to toe, facing each other, smacking each other's boy, trying to keep this timing, just get to know how that felt. Which brings up the point that when you're spending with a partner, you've got to communicate. And sometimes you try to chase each other around and fix each other's timing, and that never actually does anything for you. So it's good to choose roles and say, hey, I'm the timekeeper, and hey, you'll be the time fixer, and, and set roles like that. Hey, I'm the timekeeper. Okay, I'll be the time fixer. All right. Doctor, doctor, doctor. Hey, 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 you just slow your ducka down. <laughs> you gotta keep a steady ducka. Okay, so we did that. Then we also experimented a little bit with stepping up offset. So now my, I move over so that only one of my feet, my beats, is lined up with his toe. That allows us to get a little closer and get our, get our point in between each other. So that was some fun timing and spacing exercise. And then we got to the good stuff. And the good stuff was stalls. So I, we, real quick, we, we played with just kind of like swinging a stall when you're spinning in reverse, swinging it up, letting it fall down. Eventually you can actually do an up stall there. And then when you're spinning forward, kind of dropping them over in front of you. And it just so happens that that lines up all nice. All right, um, here we go. Now it's just that cool. Count it up. One, two, three. Okay, next time. Get a room, so guys. <laughs> A specific mm -hmm. move, which really I found like really helps. So like when I go over, mm -hmm. we breathe in. So when you go under, we breathe in, mm -hmm. and vice versa. Ready, set. <laughs> Curry, hello, Curry. Curry breath. Somebody needs a certain suit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. So we did a bunch of that. Then we actually we played with turning without poi first, so that we don't get our bodies all confused when we're trying to turn with the poi. And so what we did, this is very Aikido. Once again, we're standing a little bit offset. So my left foot and his left foot is on the same line. Now we're going to step past each other, turning, so we miss each other. And back. And look, our feet are essentially lined up again. And again. Here we go. And again. Warning, do not practice the part who has a staff in Okay, now I have to learn how to do that. <laughs> 